vlog time. What's up, guys? It's me, Stefan, and uh, yeah, the interview didn't go well because I didn't get the job. Yep, that's something that happened. I didn't, I didn't get the job. But the good news is I have an interview tomorrow at nine o'clock in the morning for another school to be a janitor again. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> But I'm just hoping because uh, I also have a job for an uh, uh, interview with a telecom company. I'm just trying to get some work, guys. I'm trying to get some work and get my life going and, you know, just get some stuff going and uh, money in my pocket. But until then, I got videos for you guys. <laughs> guys, guys, here's a little something I want to talk about. Getting drunk and saying stupid shit and not remembering is really dumb. I turned 21 this last December. And up till then, I, I drank, but I never got super effed up or wasted or anything like that. But this past weekend at my uncle's 50th birthday party, I started drinking early because they got the keg out. And, you know, I was just drinking casually with uh, my uncles and cousins and everybody else who came around, family and girls and everything else. And then, my friend went and bought rum, and I'm like, fuck yeah, I was already buzzing, so why not get some rum? And it was rum mixed with tea, and it was like a really good thing. I, I, I loved it. But I guess eventually I started noticing that the tea was less and less, and it was more and more rum, and I was pouring my drink, so this was my fault inevitably anyways. Um, the moral of this is, I got so effed up, I woke up at 5 in the morning at my house on the floor. I didn't know what happened. I got a message the next day saying I got in a fight with my cousin, who is my best friend in the whole world, basically. Um, and I was hitting on a chick that I wouldn't have anyways because I knew my friend liked her. So, in the end, it was a bad, bad, bad experience. And uh, I just don't know. I want you guys to learn something from this. You can drink when you turn 21, obviously. You can drink. Or if you're going to do it before that, I'm not advocating it, but I know people do it. I did it. Be a little bit responsible. I mean, drinking isn't responsible in the first place, but be a little bit responsible. Just know when you're at that buzz point. Like everybody knows they're at the buzz point when they're like, they're going to go pee, but you still know what's going on. But you're just like, oh, pee. you know, you get that whole, whole, you know, you know when you're buzzing. So please take it easy, guys, because. I was lucky enough to have friends who, even though I messed with them and I was abrupt when I was drinking, still got me home because they were great people, along with a brother and other people who got me here, and it was just so nice of them, and I've known them forever, so just just be a little responsible, guys. Don't go too far, especially in a public place. I was lucky my uncle was next door because I didn't have to go nowhere. I just had to come home or I could sleep there. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. This is probably boring for you guys, but... It was dumb. I did something really stupid, and I hope you guys can learn from it. That's why I'm telling you this story, because I woke up the next day with a bunch of text messages of crap that I didn't even know what happened, and I regret it, big time. I'm not in no means going to quit drinking, but I am going to be a little smarter about it. Thank you guys uh, for watching. I hope you learned a lesson from this video. I don't know if you did, or if you're just going to get wasted tonight. That's your own thing. But thank you for watching. Bye guys, love y'all, and what the flow?